now let's move on to the second question find the lcm and hcf of the following pair of integers and verify that lcm times hcf is equal to product of the two numbers so let's move on to the solution the first pair of numbers given is 26 and 91 first let us express each number as product of its prime factors so 26 can be written as 2 times 13 and 91 can be written as 7 times 13 therefore 26 is equal to 2 times 13 and 91 is equal to 7 times 13 therefore hcf of 26 and 91 is obtained by the product of smallest power of each common factor involved in the number therefore the common factor in 26 and 91 is 13 and its smallest power is 1 therefore HCF of 26 and 91 is equal to 13 and LCM of 26 and 91 is obtained by product of greatest power of each prime factor in the numbers therefore LCM of 26 and 91 is equal to greatest power of each prime factor is 2 times 7 times 13 and their product gives LCM therefore 2 times 7 times 13 gives 182 which is the LCM. Now we shall find the product of LCM and HCF that is 13 times 182. This gives us 2366. We shall also find the product of the given two numbers that is 26 times 91 which is also equal to 2366. Therefore, the product of LCM and HCF is equal to the product of given two numbers. Hence verified. Now let us move on to the second bit. So the second pair of numbers given is 510 and 92. So now let us express 510 and 92 as a product of their prime factors. So 510 can be written as 2 times. 255 and 255 can be written as 5 times 51. Now 92 can be written as 2 times 46 and 46 can be written as 2 times 23. Therefore 510 can be expressed as 2 times 5 times 51 and 92 can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 23. Therefore, HCF of 510 and 92 is obtained by product of smallest power of each common factor in the numbers 
therefore the common factor for 510 and 92 is 2 therefore the product of smallest power of the common factors that is the HCF of 510 comma 92 is equal to 2 now LCM of 510 comma 92 is obtained by the product of greatest power of each prime factor in the numbers that is LCM of 510 comma 92 is given by 2 times 2 times 5 times 51 times 23 which is equal to 23,460 now we shall find the product of HCF and LCM we have obtained that is 2 times of 23,460 and the product is 46,920 now we shall also find the product of the given two numbers that is 510 times 92 which is also equal to 46,920 therefore the product of the HCF and LCM of any two numbers is equal to the product of the given two numbers now let us move on to the third bit so the third pair of numbers given is 336 and 54 so first we shall write the given numbers as a product of their prime factors therefore 336 can be written as 2 times 168 and 168 can be written as 2 times 84 and 84 can be written as 2 times 42 42 can be written as 2 times 21 and 21 can be written as 3 times 7 and 54 is also written as 2 times 27 and 27 it is written as 3 times 9 and 9 can be written as 3 times 3 therefore 336 can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 which is equal to 2 power 4 times 3 times 7 and 54 can be expressed as 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 which is equal to 2 times 3 cube therefore HCF of 336 and 54 is obtained by the product of smallest power of each common factor in the numbers that is HCF of 336 comma 54 is equal to here the common factor is 2 and 3 and the smallest power is 1 for 2 and 1 for 3 therefore their product is 2 times 3 that is equal to 6 now LCM of 336 comma 54 is obtained by the product of 
greatest power of each prime factor involved in the number that is LCM of 336,54 is equal to the highest power for the common factor 2 is 4 therefore 2 power 4 and the highest power for the common factor 3 is 3 therefore 3 q and the remaining factor left over is 7 therefore it is 2 power 4 times 3 power 3 times 7 which is equal to 3024 now we shall find the product of HCF and LCM obtained above that is 6 times 3024 which is 18144 now we shall also find the product of the given two numbers that is 336 times 54 which is also equal to 18144 therefore the product of the HCF and LCM of any two numbers is equal to the product of the given numbers hence verified